Just gonna post this on Discord and we'll get started. Welcome everyone. Hey. Man, I am a slow typer. Actually, I'm not, but... Hold on, we'll readjust the mic. Get into a comfortable gaming position, you know, you know how we do it. Are we actually live? We are actually live. Nice. Cool. Welcome to what might be the final stream for this game. Listen, uh, I'm like really, really pushing to finish this. I just realized that I should probably go back. Oh, hello. Oh, fuck. I didn't know that was a thing. Of course, I'm just pretending. Who got timed out right away? Kirky. Whoops. Hey, Kirky. Dance with Nightbot. Dancing in the moonlight. What's up? Hey, hey, hey. Cool. Nice talking to this NPC who I miss all the time. I never get this NPC. Anyways, I'm not gonna mess around here. We'll get started. Uh, listen, this is, there's gonna be a lot of factors to how this will go. I'm good as well, thanks. I'm good. Pretty tired. Uh, had kind of a busy week. And super, super looking forward to going on holiday. Two days. Two days left. Uh, yeah. I'm like counting the seconds back, you know. Just because, you know, I haven't had like a proper holiday in a very long time. No worries, man. Like, well, yesterday's stream was interesting. Interesting. Air quotes around that. I died a lot to Freed. That's, that was the like vibe of yesterday's stream me dying to freed but i did get her in the end and really that's all that matters doesn't it i forgot to change i just realized i forgot to change the number of the session this is session seven whatever it don't matter does it hey forge what's up what's up doing good doing good on my side Hope you guys are doing okay as well. Finally here, <laughs> yes. Three minutes and 40 seconds into the stream, but nothing happened so far. Now we're getting into it. The good old ringed city. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, Dean as well. That was, that was quite a chunk of damage. That's all I can say. That was chunky damage. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. That was insane. Insane. Did you see how much damage that dealt? Making me waste the fucking human effigies. Not human effigies, embers. Scorching in Scotland? Holy shit. Man, the weather's been like super, super weird. It's only recently gotten like summery here as well. Uh, we like... We're pretty much missing a summer until now. Which is a little bit shitty. But the past, I guess, three days have been very good. So hopefully, yeah, 
Yeah, Sun and Scotland are... I, I just realized how insanely lucky I am that I landed like that. But there is Sun in Scotland, just... Not often, right? That's what the Flat Earthers say. Yeah, same, like, a few weeks ago it was mad cold, I was still still wearing hoodies and, like, uh, jackets, not jackets, but, you know, like, denim jackets and all that. Damn flat earthers got things locked down. I love this dude, he's just like... NDJ Power, thank you very much for subscribing. You can like, oh yeah, this is... I was doing this, like, Twitch prompts you with a pride flower to thank. Well, I'm gonna thank you with that. Well, thank you very much for subscribing with the tier 1. Really, really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Oh yeah, and this is where the motherfucker's trying to push you off. If this is gonna go this way, as in I'm gonna just like bust through this area, we should be okay. I mean... Oh yeah, and then you can like react. We were just discussing this yesterday that you can like, uh, it, you can like prompt a reaction too, like some certain emojis or badges. Cool beans, Twitch. Cool beans, I guess. Disgusting damage. Yeah, it is. It is. Disgusting damage. It's just, it's just how we do it, you know. Okay, what the fuck, is that curse? Yeah, that is what's cursing me. Yeah. I mean, listen, as I said before, I kind of enjoy dealing a lot of damage. But of course the question is, will it be enough damage? Yeah, eat shit. Man, that is some insane poise damage. It's like the enemies in this area are like specifically made to counter this build. Because they break poise hella easy. And all that. Exactly. Gotta love the power. what we were working towards all this playthrough you know man these enemies are I've never even fought this many of these guys they like, tend to just like rush through this place I don't think so get on my level with that damage oh yeah this is what they do that's kind of annoying they have like some weird... oh shit. Trying really hard not to die here. Oh yeah, and the other thing is I like a ton of Estus, so... It's the other thing going for me. So it's like... Take damage, heal, take damage, heal. That's what was difficult about uh, the previous stream, you know, especially Freed. Because she, like, doesn't gel with this tactic. Still, okay, fuck. I think I made a good decision by getting off of fat rolling. That fat rolling thing wasn't gonna work, I think. This, the DLCs are, oh, I got the hood, nice. The DLCs are anti-fat roll. Okay, I didn't know they reached that far.
I'm waiting for my chance to plunge. Come on. Oh shit, I missed it. I missed it. It's all good. Wait, did he not notice me? Okay, that, that was jank as hell. Did you see that? That was 4,000... Speaking of disgusting damage, did you see how that just dealt 4,000 points of damage? Oh yeah, you are, you are about to not get it. I guess it's fair. Deal a lot of damage, take a lot of damage. I'm like shocked by how much these guys deal. It's ridiculous. And the funny thing is like... The funny thing is like I was wearing the knight armor and they were basically doing the same thing. Oh yeah, I forgot to thank... Anima X... God, I can't even read. X Hellair. Fucked up your name probably. I apologize, but thank you for following. I'm gonna do a reset on that. Uh, I think what I did actually... There's a lot of enemies in that area. These knights with like the black hole as their head. Um, I just skipped them. I think the last time I did that area. They actually are fairly annoying. Unbelievable. What's Karun's escape got face mask on the low everyone's gonna be walking around protected from COVID. That's pretty good. I haven't played the game since yesterday when I downloaded it. I need to do it. Man the damage. I mean to be fair. I ain't exactly the most well-armored character. Oh, I'm dreading fucking... Uh, what's his name? Gale? Gale is gonna be wrecking my shit, I think. Gonna get my shit wrecked. It's only fair, really. I mean, this is a super late game area. So it's like... You kinda expect it, don't you? I don't think so, bitch. And then go. Listen, I got all the Ring City speedrun tactics worked out. Don't worry about me. Double kill. Double kill, we got those. Ah, oh, this is where an annoying NPC is. I'm not sure I want to go there. Honestly. Seriously? Okay, that has some... Pretty insane range. Told you, this is the easiest way to do it. Like, fighting all these guys. How, whoa. How many of them are there? Like five, six? Especially once you know where the fucking bonfire is. It's like, fuck no. Actually, do I know where the bonfire is? There it is. I knew I was just pretending, don't worry. Huh. I'll go in non-human form for a little bit because I'm afraid of wasting all my embers. 
and somebody is doing some racing outside, cosplaying Fast and the Furious. Man, those movies, I was just thinking about how like different those movies are than how they used to be. Like I remember the time where it was about racing, Fast and the Furious, not uh, like a uh, action thriller. But listen, the amount of money they make off of that franchise is like, can you blame the hustle? Oh, why does everything do, do so much damage? I think I'm getting arrowed. Yes, I am. Oh, seriously, they spawn here as well. Spawn behind you as well. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, it's a heist movie, basically. Action comedy as well. I think I'm going to do a reset here. I feel like that's fitting. Because actually, you have to kind of like edge along the side, if I remember correctly. Then the big boy won't notice you. And he won't start like summoning shit. That's what makes this difficult. If you like aggro him and he starts summoning. At least last time I did this on I don't know what. I don't remember what was my last Dark Souls 3 build. I managed to do it without aggroing him. That sweet, sweet damage. Oh, you know what? If I get that dragon shield, you know which one I'm talking about. I might use that. That's a pretty cool looking shield. Although the thing is, by this point, I've upgraded the curse ward. So I'm kind of like stuck with it. White birch bow. Hey Dallas, what's up, man? How are you? Oh yeah, you can like turn into... Shit as well, right? To sneak past enemies. I seem to remember something like that. Hey, thank you for reminding us, including me. Yes. I got fucked up by the Moonlight Butterfly once only, to be fair. Um, it's not a repeated... I'm not a repeated offender of Moonlight Butterfly deaths. I feel like that would be where it would qualify as a real embarrassment but it's only happened once outside of you know we discount first playthroughs when I was a Dark Souls noob those are not part of the picture which you know funnily enough I think I've talked about this before but I swear to this day to this day 2020 I still get comments on my first Dark Souls playthrough. Like, oh man, look at this dude. He's a fucking noob. He doesn't even know that this stupid treasure is here. And that this and this are here as well. And when I'm in the mood, I respond to them sometimes. Like, bruh. Learn to look at the dates of YouTube videos. Like, how does this idiot think that a Dark Souls playthrough from like three months after the game's release is gonna have like 
me being like a fucking expert and doing and you know knowing all the items and shit it's pretty funny you watch my old ultimate guys i'm glad i don't <laughs> i don't i don't watch my videos but that's really good yeah the ultimate guys still get a lot of comments of people like even saying that it helped them even now which is cool um okay so i'm just gonna sneak by here thanks But like what I'm talking about is even the older playthrough. I mean, it counts for the ultimate guides as well. Um, people saying like, it's like, bitch, you don't even use your magic, which, yeah, that was something I could have improved on. Well, thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh, and there's like some trick here, right? Isn't there like a trick with one of these statues? Like a short... I hella failed in finding this shortcut. Last episode. Oh yeah, yeah, this one. Show your humanity. Or no, 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 you have to be... You have to have uh, something. I don't know. Whatever. That's really cool. You know, this like idea. I just saw the floating shield. Did you see that? You know, people finding my guides and hel it helping them. That's why I made them. Ultimate Moonlight Butterfly playthrough could do it. Use the Moonlight Greatsword and... Oh, but you can't get the Greatsword. That's the only problem that you can't get the Greatsword until super late. But you can get that stupid shield. Uh, I think you might have just given me some ideas. Maybe, just maybe. Who knows what will... Who knows what will happen? Listen. I'm trying to finish this game right now. I mean, today. We're doing pretty okay. And then once I get back from holiday slash vacation, depending on which side of the ocean you're on, again. The world is your oyster. I haven't played Dark Souls 1 Remastered in a while, but I did play Daughters of Ash right now quite a bit, you know, so... I think I promised that my next game would be Dark Souls 2, though. But after... <laughs> yes. Uh, the Deprived... A lot of people did that, actually. Um, like, way back, you know, when the games first came out. They were like, yeah, how hard could it be? Deprived. Let's go. Yeah, we did have a log build with Lucerne. Which ended up being a terrible luck, where it was like a hollow build. Ended up, it was this one. This one. Uh, it ended up being pretty broken as well. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I and I missed the... He'll be running around. Yes, Augur of Darkness, I will, yes. Oh, fuck. No, 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 you have to wait for him to come from that side. Hey, Antigrim, what's up? Okay, so you get this bitch to fly up. And then you run like an asshole. You're gonna get hit by the fire. El Fuego. And this is what I didn't know. Or I forgot. And this is a real motherfucker who's gonna get flamed. Trying to push me out into the path of the dragon. Ain't gonna happen. I think that was, yeah. The the hollow one. Yeah, I heard of that one as well. But that one is not out yet, right? If I remember correctly. There's one that this guy is really working on, like, the visuals. But I think that one is not released. Hey, 
Hey, I'll be going uh, like an hour and a half. So until like 10.30. About. De depending on how long it will take me f to finish this game. Because I'm like shooting for the finish line here. Yeah, and some enemy placements, yeah. I mean, that's still good. But the Augur of Darkness makes, like, actual changes. Mainly to Hate's Tower of Flame. If I remember correctly. Yeah, cool. Hopefully I'll be still on. Again, if I become, like, elite Dark Souls player. And all of a sudden finish the game in, like, half an hour. Well, then... I don't know. It's not gonna happen, but... Oh, I forget. I always forget. I'm a dumbass. Moaning. I can't believe there's a NPC invader called the Moaning Knight. Yeah. Upgrading armor is... I don't know... It shouldn't feel like it, but to me it always feels like a waste of resources. Unless you're like in like new game whatever, and it doesn't matter. It's very hard as well, oh shit. See this is what I was wanting to talk about, you know. You'll get like an early taste of it my like full opinions on daughters of ash are definitely oh fuck how much poise do you have definitely the game is very good i mean the mod is very good i do think that first of all the lore changes are awful i think i've talked about this but also this idea of just like throwing more enemies into an area is not my favorite generally the mod really does do a good job of keeping balance but some areas that's what it felt like that uh, just throw a shit ton of enemies in there and okay, look at this Get our sexy on. Yeah, you know, just throw a shit ton of enemies in there and then that'll be difficult. Uh, let me just think here for a second how we get out of here. Oh, I think I know. Because that's the other... That's not where I came from. Yeah, I'm stupid. But I'm interested in checking that mod out. That's going to be... A pretty fun playthrough. I'm Again, not to say... I'm absolutely not saying that I'm not enjoying Daughters of Ash. Because I am. I enjoyed my whole playthrough, actually. Okay, hold on a second here. Am I being a dumbass or am I being a dumbass? You can't jump there. Uh, I think I'm being a dumbass. You have the, there is some like shit with this area. Okay, I'm not about to be... Fuck. Did I seriously just jump back down? Hmm. Oh, fuck. The fuego. Okay, so you come in here. Okay. 
can drop down. It's where the bomb fire is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's like a new game, basically. There ain't shit here. This is making me look like an absolute idiot, I think. But I'm like genuinely completely lost. Hmm. Well, shit. Ah, oh, I'm stupid. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. Oh, god damn it. It is. I, I am gonna seem like an idiot. I forgot you can. Walk. <laughs> I forgot you can walk over that. Whoops, my bad. Ignore the last like three minutes. Didn't happen. At least I didn't fall to my death. Could have been worse. I think this is the exit, right? Sort of. And I think you could hit the bonfire up. But I don't think it's needed. I think I'm going to regret these words, but we are being brave. Oh no, it does lead to the bonfire either way. Cool. I th I for some reason I thought that this is a bonfire you can miss, but I guess it's not. All right, whatever your name is. What's he called? Way too difficult of a, of a boss, that's what he's called. I need to sneeze so bad. Oh shit. I got cock blocked by my sneeze again. I didn't know that had that big of an AoE. I figured out like a pretty good tactic for this dude, the last playthrough, but of course I don't remember it. I'm like hella hitting him with everything, but still. Pog champ indeed. Is he already dead? No he's not. Oh, the laser. I mean, at least it's only one of them that hits you. Because he only has like three attacks in this phase. All of them are pretty stupid. Yeah, fuck you. Go down into the abyss. Easy. Yeah. Welcome, Eidsmo, by the way. Easy peasy. Listen, genuinely, this, DL this DLC is easier than the first one. So far. <laughs> did I just kick a crystal lizard? I did. I didn't know that was possible. Actually. Kick that little shit. Hmm. 
I'm gonna be buying buffs because I'm running low. And this boss, I remember on the human playthrough or luck build or whatever, this guy actually posed quite a challenge, this next boss coming up. I'm hoping the staggers are gonna fuck him up. Because I fought him with a strength weapon before and it was like a massacre, basically. So I'm not that worried. Oh, what can I give you? Cool. Um, ten. Oh man, he doesn't actually. Or I mean, she's out. Aside from fire, she dry as hell. Fuck it. Listen, before Gale, I'm gonna use all these souls. Because he's also one of those bosses where it's like, at that point, it doesn't even matter. I'm still hoping to be able to equip some sort of armor. Uh, is it the inner, s inner wall, right? Oh, yawning. I am actually like legit tired now. It's like a weirdly long. <laughs> yes, that that's. That face is me right now. Am I going to play Last of Us? No. What the hell is that? Hold on. Oh, I know what it is. That's how you get on the Gwyn statue. No Last of Us, because it would put me to sleep. Fuck. Uh, do I want to do this? What? It's That item is nothing. Yeah, I heard as well. People were talking about this. Listen, I'm not interested in playing The Last of Us, but I'm sure as hell interested in people who shit talk The Last of Us. And somebody was just saying how scummy it is and genuinely like when you think about it pretty scummy that they advertise they advertise the game completely like you were only going to be able to play ellie and they actually oh this is actually fairly useful and that's not what happens there was a debate no spoil, uh, like, listen, sorry for spoiling all the fun. You know, this kind of, I feel like for Last of Us fans, they really had like their Game of Thrones season 8 moments. That a bunch of shit was leaked and it sounded so bad that everyone was like, no way are these leaks true. Everybody was like, this is the biggest bunch of bullshit. There's no chance that these leaks are actually true. And of course, they were they were all true. We know. I listened to this motherfucker's speech so much the last time. He speaks really slowly. I kept dying to this bo boss. This boss. Do you see that free aim?
Oh fuck. Yeah, I think he's weak too. He's weak to uh, strength weapons. Kill his little helper. Wanna see a real strength boy? Whoa, 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 that is a lot of damage. How are you still alive? Oh, because you healed yourself. Oh, that dealt like no damage either. Sorry. Graphics amazing, voice actors great, gameplay identical to first, so good. Yeah. The weird thing is, like, you know, story really is important. Listen, people say that. You know, there's like the classic, you know, oh, who the fuck cares about the story? Stories don't matter. It's all about the gameplay, but no, absolutely not. Uh, there are certain games where the story doesn't matter. Like this, like Soul Series, perfect example. Hmm. Nobody would give a shit if one of the Souls games had a shitty story. Like, who cares, you know? Or Mario. Nobody cares if Mario has a bad story. Uh, but if the game is geared towards that, you know, the story, that's very, very different. The thing I heard about the second one is ju it's just, it's too depressing. Like, the first one, you know actually offers some kind of commentary even though you are still a dick uh kind of because joel is kind of a dick uh you know but apparently the new one is just like so aggressively depressing that it's like sometimes hard to play Yeah, the I remember the map. I remember when that was like the biggest gaming controversy, like ever. People were losing their shit. Everybody was, everybody was getting their bitch on. Uh, I'm gonna make some hella cool armor. Look at this. And still fast rolling. But maybe. <laughs> okay, the mask. Go for it. Of course, yes, yeah, some people like it. And shout outs to everybody who likes it. Uh, I mean, we're not judging. And again, it's not like what I was discussing, that there is some like idiot incels out there who don't like the game because it has gay, lesbian, or bisexual, or transgender characters. That's not it. That's a subset, unfortunately, of people. But, yeah. Yeah, Mass Effect 3 pissed everybody off. And then they actually patched something. Yeah, they DLC'd it. They DLC'd it, but it didn't help, right? I've never tried Mass Effect either. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I played a very small bit of the first one. But that's about it. Oh, we're... Of 
course the character is barefoot. What do you expect? Yeah, it still sucked. It, the only thing it did is it gave you two more choices, right? That's what I heard. Pretty much that was the only thing. I like this cutscene. Had to touch it, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a color-coded ending. It's like a stoplight. Exactly, what an asshole. Broke the ball. At least glue it back together for her or something. Holy shit, it's bright. Yeah, but this is, you gotta admit, this is a really good cutscene. And this whole introduction to this boss is really well done. Except we were blind as shit, because we have the mask blocking everything. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. That's fucking cool. And that Anor, Londo and Lothric castle are still standing. What is this bonfire called? Edge of the world, Filianor's rest. It should be called something like that. Although that would be probably too edgy. To get the joke. All right. Yes, I think that's it. That uh, like basically, you know, time in Dark Souls is fucked up. And her ball was apparently the thing keeping everything together. And you broke it and you're basically like catapulted into the very far future where only these dudes who are like the kings of uh, the ranked city uh, and only Gale and you remain. Like Gale has basically killed everybody. How you die or when you die, how definitely. But the question is, would you try to avoid it then? If you see yourself like... There was that... You guys remember that TV series? It was only on for like one or two seasons called The Flash Forward. Where uh, like the whole world flashed forward for like a year or something. And some people only saw darkness. They saw nothing. Uh, which meant that they were all dead. That was pretty good. I remember it being pretty good. Maybe it was only I was only like 12 or 13 when I watched that. Yeah, die. Die in space. Well, you know. Yeah, that would be I mean the how isn't that good either because you might see something like super sad. This dude Everything grew except his head. Yeah, the Twilight Zone shit. Yeah, it's a cool cape. Like, absorbed all the souls of his victims or something. Can you block all this shit, though? I think you can. Uh-oh. Yes, you can. Assuming this is only for phase one, though. 
I hate fighting him here though. Okay, that's a grab. I didn't know that was a grab. I thought it just was like an attack you don't want to get hit by. Can you block this whole thing? Yes, you can. That's pretty cool, I will admit. I've never fought him like this. Man, this boss has a lot of HP. That's a Fuck! Second time. I don't think I've ever been hit by that, except on this playthrough. Okay. There's a fourth one there, but you can block it. Fuck! What is going on? I'm so... Such a dumbass. This and Freed's like losing track of Freed were like the anomalies, you know. There we go. It's not that difficult. already just take showers from then on you know that's the oh, I skipped it I should have watched it well it's unlikely that I'm gonna kill him in, in this run but still okay He has a bigger sword than I do. Wait, wait, he takes a lot of damage. You can deal more damage to him in phase one, right? Not taking a bath in a tub since I was three. Well, you know, yeah, it's... I can't remember the last time either. I think I was sick when I last took a bath. Uh... I had like a bad cold or something. <laughs> yeah, baths are good. I'm not against it either, I'm just... Timing more like, like when. I guess the weekends are bath time. Otherwise, how am I gonna ever sell my bath water if I don't take baths? Oh, I was really hoping for a stagger. Shit, okay, he missed. I thought I was fucked there. <sighs> yeah, like, sauna is different though. Sauna and hot tubs are like... But hot tubs do have a feeling of, you know, bath with friends. It has that vibe to it, if I'm gonna be honest. This is gonna be fucking hard. He d really doesn't take any damage, does he?
it's gonna be a freed situation, isn't it? But that's like a whole different thing, you know. Because like it's a different. Because we have a lot of bats as well here in Hungary. We are famous for them, actually. Listen, I'm concentrating now. Just give me a sec. I can't believe how little the damage this guy takes. It's insane, actually. You can stagger him, if I remember correctly. I was expecting it to happen like crazy, me staggering him, it's just not happened. Buff, yeah, you're right. They are... Uh, they are open now, no, they are open with uh, limitations like occupancy limitations but they're open oh that looks pretty cool you gotta admit drink that bath water Ten more points of damage. It's probably gonna add up. that attack should just block that attack I'm fucked yeah I knew I was fucked <sighs> nice topic you got there go going guys Bathwater drinking, down with that shit. As in not like down with that, as in not do it, as in I'm down with that. What do you think this is right here in this glass? It's only the finest 15k. Jesus. I swear it looks like there's a damage limit on him. <laughs> like you can't deal beyond a certain amount of damage. Because I swear I've never done more than this much to him. No matter what the fuck type of weapon I use. There is a fourth one. Sorry, Kirky. It's gonna happen every single time. You violated the verbal morality statue of twitch.tv slash Mr. Sketchhead. This boss drives me crazy. As well. 
all uh, both of these DLC bosses. They, he is the better one, but both of these motherfuckers drive me crazy. What am I doing with them souls? Them zero souls. Fifteen thousand HP. I mean, the fact that two hits and I'm dead just doesn't, it just doesn't bode well. Whoa, did you see how fast I just... Oh, it was a cave physics being weird. I'm gonna try it. Maybe the log is gonna... Overgrown baseball bat on fire is gonna do a little bit better. It doesn't. And this weapon is slightly quicker. I didn't... I, I was not an Estus. What the hell? I didn't know he can go behind there. What? <laughs> I didn't even know there was something there. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> oh, I hate this so much. Uh... It doesn't do... Like, like, look at how much HP damage I'm doing. Like, look at it. I gotta go with this weapon. Fucking hell. He's so... He's such a sponge. That was a lucky stagger. I'm like really concentrating. I honestly thought it was staggered. Okay, phase two. This gives me a bit of a chance.
Oh shit, okay. This is interesting. I genuinely thought that would deal more chip damage. But he does hella damage. Slow ass weapon. Okay, third phase. Fuck lightning. God, this fight is a clusterfuck. Like, genuinely. I'm actually doing okay here. That was not a bad heal. Yeah, the thing hit me, the skull hit me. That was actually not that bad of an attempt. This is an insane fight. I genuinely think the first phase is fucking... Thank you. I genuinely think this phase is way harder. Like honestly, holy shit. Like this is way this phase is way harder. Strange. It's like way more un unpredictable. He has like more varied movesets as well. The reason that attempt failed is because I did that one bad heal. Uh, you saw it, and that was pretty much lights out for us then. Imagine doing this fat rolling. Uh, I'd be going fucking crazy. Glad I abandoned that thought, because uh, I don't need to torture myself any further. Okay, so dodge, dodge, block, block, dodge. That's how you do that attack. I always get sad when I look at his HP and how much there is left and how much I felt like I've done. <sighs> it's extra frustrating because I know I got this. Some somehow I can I can get this. I didn't buff. Whatever. We'll live for one play. Or attempt without buffs.
It works. That tactic works. That was a crazy hitbox. Did you see that? Oh shit. What? I was blocking. What the hell is that? <sighs> Just gotta keep trying, you know. That's what I think as well. Gotta get that strong buff. I I've checked out my thing like my rings right because i was thinking of getting something to replace the covered silver serpent because i don't really need that shit but there's nothing else here's lloyd's sword ring that's something poison oh you're right i remember that i remember that i don't know if this weapon is fast enough though Probably is. You're right, that was the tactic to poison him. Block, block, dodge. I, that attack, the, the second time I was blocking and it still hit me. Guess it's like an angle thing. Yeah, Mikiri counter. That would be so nice. Get that Mikiri on. I'm genuinely curious. If poison will work. I mean, I have a lot of shit as well. Uh, and you know how shit works. Shit poisons. One of the less good looking buffs, I think. The fire one is really nice looking. Still not poisoned. And I think it's gonna be more difficult because of the of this weapon, you know. Still not there. And it wore off. Great. So you can't really poison him with this thing. It's very difficult. Oh, where is your face too? He starts blasting in this phase, like, really. Forgot. I 
No, it comes back to you. Oh, it's so slow. What is he doing? Oh, that's what... Okay. He's gonna freak out. How am I down to four Estes? I swear. Shit is crazy. God damn it. He has so much HP left. I wasn't quick enough with the shield. I'm so tired of this boss. I'm not gonna be. On I'm gonna be honest with you. <sighs> I'm gonna try poisoning him again. I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping it is, man, because this is. Not a good start. Bad start, actually. You really, like, you get to the second phase with, like, full Estus, and then it's like, you're down to four in two blinks. Yeah, and same. It's just how it works, you know, or how it... How it be. I want to see if it's actually possible to poison him. Or try really hard. Which means I'll probably throw the attempt, but whatever. Done a lot of hits to him.
It didn't work. Storyteller staff. Which one is that? Oh, is that the one that... I don't know which one that is. <laughs> oh, shit, this boss. Yeah, so I'm gonna... Do I not have it? Seriously? Oh, I didn't get Lloyd's sword ring like ever, right? Curse resist, frost resist. Uh, Pontiff's right eye. Why not? Whatever. Let's go. I didn't buff like a dumbass. Whatever. I mean, if it boosts the attack just a little bit, it's worth it. I know this is more meant for like faster weapons, but the idea is there. I don't think it has done jack shit so far, but psychologically, it feels like it's doing something. And that's half the battle, you know. Thank you. He's resistant to slash, yeah, thought so. He's like resistant to everything, right? Show me something this motherfucker ain't resistant to. Honestly. Oh god, the heals. I nearly got blasted. I'm gonna heal fully. Fuck the lightning. I got Metallica, except it's fuck the light. What? What? He has a teleport? What was that bullshit? Am I... I'm stoned. I think I'm stoned. Because this motherfucker didn't just teleport behind me. Like, nothing personal, you know. Oh, God. So slow this weapon. That's like the good bait attacks.
Okay, please keep doing this. And not do that. I hate this attack. He missed me. How did he miss me? This is it. He's dead. <sighs> yes. It's really satisfying. This is a really satisfying boss though. You got him. When you do beat him, it's like damn. Thank you. Thanks for the G. Geez. It was the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. You've never seen a no death run this professional, right? When I say no death, I mean no death. I can actually use the sword, can't I? I want to get the sword. Hell yeah. Oh shit, 30, he, he needs 13 decks. I am disappointed. I mean, it's a great sword. It's not an ultra. It has like... Yeah, it has like his attacks, right? On Guitar Hero Guitar? Yes, of course. Listen. What else do you expect but that from me? Actually on the Rock Band drums. Which, it has been done on that as well. This game. Maybe not this game, but Dark Souls 1 definitely. Which is kind of crazy in my eyes, honestly. I feel like... Yes, Fat Roll Guitar. Now that would be unique. That would be a once-in-a-lifetime playthrough. It wouldn't happen, I think. <laughs> for me, not for me. Increase this bitch. Cool. We're going to the kiln. I feel like this is gonna be a steamroll. Maybe it turns out to be super difficult with strength builds. I don't think that's gonna happen. But listen, I've been surprised before on this run. Hey, once again, here for right at here right at the very end, I can say, because this is the very end. It's pretty cool. You gotta admit, the sun, that, that's a nice design. I don't know who came up with that, but give that man a raise. Oh yeah. See, this, this man not having 15,000 HP is... Like, way better. Okay, so he staggers you very easily. Oh, not the spear phase. I hate this phase. He deals some chip damage though. Huh. 
<laughs> Wrath of the Gods. This is such a cool final boss. After I don't know how many games they managed to make a cool final boss. Is that it? Yes, I think he is transforming. <laughs> Use the parrying dagger, yes. With the Guitar Hero drums. Fuck. I'm <laughs> stupid. He doesn't do that much damage. Probably the last, yeah, the last hit kind of does. I mean, I'm like super buff HP wise. How am I getting fucked up by Soul of Cinder? I thought I was gonna do something different. Oh shit, I forgot. Yeah, I saw. I saw you post it. I just I didn't have a chance to like it yet. It's unbelievable. He is actually really difficult here. What if I just block? Okay. Fuck. I seriously just died to the soul of Cinder? Yeah, I did. <sighs> I can't believe I died to him. I mean, it's not the end of the world, it's just a little bit weird. He's difficult to hit, that's the thing. Uh, in that Gwim phase, with a slow weapon like this. I mean, I got the fucking wooden stick, if I need to. Spear phase, yeah. Really, I think because I'm dealing so much damage to him, that's why he's skipping. Skipping the other two. The pyro and the mage. Fuck. No. Okay, get the hell out of here. Maybe I should just two hand. Oh. Yes, please miss.
I'll capitalize on that. I think this is a way better attempt. This boss looks like he would be a motherfucker too, fat rolling. Shit. Second time that's happened. How about we don't die the last hit? Keeps motherfucker. He's dead. Did I trade with him? That was a super weird death. All right. Soul of Cinder. That's what it is. Soul of the Lords. Let's summon her. It's my favorite ending. Feel like I can go for my favorite ending. We basically are dressed the same way. Thank you. That was easy. I mean, not as easy as I thought, but easy generally. Waifu. Yeah, we're dressed the same. I'm the warrior waifu. I mean, just listen, The just look at how much the fire effects have improved since like Dark Souls 1. It's crazy. It actually looks like a fire now, rather than whatever the hell was going on in that game. The first quickly oh, my thing is, do you see my souls in the back? Okay, we gotta go pick that up. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna kill her. Oh, you can't move around, you can just hit R1. I did, yeah. It's all good though. I'll wear it as a pride or badge of honor. Like, who would actually kill her in this ending? Of course they didn't even make a achievement for that ending, for doing that one. It's like, you want to be that much of a dick, you don't even deserve an achievement. Cool. This is a pretty good game. Still on like a lot of aspects of it, but I think we've beaten that horse to death what i don't like about dark souls 3 same for emma hell yeah a warrior waifu this is a good game though it's enjoyable this is fun to play this build uh it just really lends itself to how this game works um fat rolling though fuck fat rolling like if you play this game fat rolling you are Screwing yourself. Great shields and great... Oh, fuck, I'm really tired. Great shields and great swords, though. That's an entirely different thing. That works. And I think any heavy weapon. Anyways, yeah. This is gonna wrap up um, this playthrough. And it's also gonna wrap up my Twitch streaming for a week and a little bit. I'm gonna be returning next Saturday. So not tomorrow, 
or no, not the day after tomorrow, but the week after that. Okay, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys. Thanks for chatting. It's been nice talking to you. Thanks for the tips. End of the round went well, Lumino. Had to switch to fast rolling because fat rolling was just not working. That's pretty much it. Uh, VODs of the playthrough will be up on YouTube as always next week. Yeah, see you guys. Follow me on Twitter. Strength OP confirmed, yes. Follow me on Twitter at Mr. Sketchhead. Instagram at Mr. Underscore Sketchhead. Uh, five minute call. I'm really tired. I'm really tired. Sorry. I think I'm gonna go. Peace out, guys. See you.